Hey, what's up? It's your main guitar instructor, Miles, and today we're going to be going over 10 advanced guitar chords, and there is an accompanying lesson with the guitar chord charts. So let's dive right into it, and every chord that we're learning today is going to have the root note C, and it's going to be played at the 8th fret of our low E string. All right, so uh, our first five advanced guitar chords are going to be C major 7, C dominant 7, C minor 7, C minor 7 flat 5, and C diminished 7th. And what's really great about all of these shapes is you can move them to new root notes and they'll really help to expand your progressive and jazz vocabulary, chord vocabulary. So we're going to put our first finger on the 8th fret low E and then our ring fingers, our ring and pinky on D9 and G9 our middle finger on that eighth fret B okay and so that's the chord you're gonna get that's a C major 7 so that's E8 D9 G9 B8 and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your ring finger down a half step to the eighth fret of your D string that will give you a C7 chord, also called C dominant 7th. Okay, now to play a C minor 7th chord, you're going to play the 8th frets of E, D, G, and B. And to do that, you could use all four fingers, or you could play it how I play it, which is with your middle finger on the 8th fret low E, and your ring finger barring the 8th frets of D, G, and B. So that right there is a C minor 7th. And then, if you want to play C minor 7 with a flat 5, well, we have to identify the 5th, which is here, that 8th fret B, and then we flatten it. So that gives us E8, D8, G8, and B7. Which is played with your middle, ring, pinky, and index fingers. And now, to get the C diminished 7th, you're going to have a double flattened 7th in there. And so the flattened 7th interval is at the 8th fret of your D string. And so you're going to bring that down a half step to the 7th fret D. And it gives you this little wild jazz shape. And so that's uh, with your middle and ring fingers. You're going to put your middle finger on that E 8th fret, and then your ring finger on G 8, and then you're going to use your first finger to actually bar the 7th frets of G, sorry, of D and B. And that gives you C diminished 7th. So, so far we've learned C major 7, C dominant 7, C minor 7, C minor 7 with a flattened 5th, and C diminished 7th. And our next set of chords are going to be three different 13th chords. So, our first one is going to be C major 13th. And as you can see, this is just like our C major 7, but instead of playing that 5th, we play that 6th right there at the 10th fret B. And that gives us E8, D9, G9, and B10. Using your 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th fingers in order. And then, when you want to play C, uh, C dominant 13th, you just move your middle finger down a half step to that 8th fret D giving you E8, D8, G9, and B10. Then just play C minor 13th. You're going to play that minor 7th shape, and then put your pinky on the 10th fret of your B string, giving you E8, D8, G8, and B10. And as you can see, I'm barring with my ring finger on the 8th frets of D and G, 
using my middle finger on E8 and my pinky on B10. That's, that's a tough chord, but these are advanced guitar chords and that's what you were looking for, right? So for the 13th chords, we have C major 13th, C dominant 13th, C minor 13th, and then we have two more chords and they're both gonna be 11th chords. We're gonna do a minor 11th chord and this, what we could call major seven sharp 11. So what we're playing there is for the minor 11th chord, which is one of my favorite chords ever, especially in progressive music, you'll use your middle ring, pinky, and index fingers in that order, and you'll play E8, D8, G8, and then B6. And then, so this is C minor 11. If you want, if you have this shape, you can move your ring, pinky, and index fingers up a half step each to get a C major seven sharp 11 chord or C major seven sharp four. But that will give you E8, D9, G9, and B7. So, overview of all 10 advanced guitar chords. We have C major 7, C dominant 7, C minor 7, C minor 7 flat 5, C diminished 7th. Then we have C major 13th, C dominant 13th, C minor 13th, and then we have C minor 11th and then C major 7, sharp 11. And one last note about these chords is you can move the bass note, well, you can move the root note from the low E to the high E. So that's, of course, something you can do with any chord that you learn where the note is on either of the E strings, you know, like a D chord. But that's a pretty simple tip for, well, yeah, just for expanding your chord vocabulary as a whole. Anyways, so thanks for watching my lesson. And if you like this, please like comment and subscribe as it really helps me out and helps me to grow the channel. And of course, remember to check out the accompanying chord charts on my website. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Keep rocking.